Hey friends, I'm doing a lot more videoing from my phone as I think of things while I'm out here on the trail. Um, it's kind of a, we're into the overcast murky skies phase of Northwest weather. <laughs> Hang on. All right. That girl back there won't care that I'm on my phone because she's FaceTiming someone too. Um, anyway, I had a, uh, I didn't go walking yesterday. Um, I just had a really fun day with Ashley. I wish I had filmed some of it, but it went really fast. And I was just kind of busy with it. But Ashley and the team um, had our professional photos taken um, for the year. And that was really fun. Jason came with me because originally I wanted him to take Ashley back home when we were done because I had to go to a meeting at church. I was, we weren't able to go to church because these photos were scheduled right at the same time, but I still had to go to a meeting. But so Jason got to come and I should have just told him to film it, but it's not, it's not second nature for Jason to, to like grab a camera. And I just was really busy, but it was really cute. The girls are just so good at like doing their hair and they just look so good. And the head coach, when she saw our girls, she's like, um, how did you all age five years since I saw you yesterday at the game? <laughs> Cause like they had their hair, they all agreed um, on FaceTime calls Saturday night and Sunday morning to have their hair down and curled. Some of them put their bow up in a mini ponytail. Um, but they truly did like age a couple years by having their hair done. And usually it's up in high ponies and stuff and they look like little girls. Um, so that was really fun, um, fun experience. And Jason's like, you know, we got done and he got to talk to the other parents and whatnot. And one of the couples, one of the families are ones that we went to Japan with. They're on Ashley's other squad. And uh, so we were, we're really getting to know them quite well. It's really fun. And Jason gets along with the husband really well. And so he's like, oh, he's like, I can see why you'd want to be a coach. He's like being around this atmosphere and these girls and like, I'm getting to know the parents and he's like, I could see why you'd want to like stick around for this and not just like be the drop off parent. He's like, this was fun. It was like an hour and it was really, really fun. And uh, so that's what we did yesterday. And then I went to a meeting and it just ended up being way emotional and hard for me. And I spent the rest of the day crying, <laughs> to be honest. I just had a really rough day. And so, and I didn't eat because I was emotionally drained. And so I knew I couldn't go on a walk. I didn't have enough in me to do that. So I took a day of rest, let my body relax. Jason and I went to bed at eight and laid in bed talking for a couple hours because we both kind of needed to. And I haven't ever, it's all personal, but I'm grateful that I have him to go through those kinds of things together. All right, but what got me thinking to turn the camera on, there's someone behind me, so I'm probably gonna turn it off here in a second, but <sighs> hang on. Okay, that cute lady right there. That's what made me want to turn my camera on. <sighs> She's so cute. Never seen her here before, but I was Marco Poloing with my sister on my way here. And I was like, okay, I'm at the park. I'm gonna go and walk with all my older generation friends. <laughs> Because I'm starting to like recognize people and like we say hi to each other and how you doing and, But that lady She's walking around here. Hang on Hang on Get around the corner here <laughs> She had her phone sticking out of her pocket And she's learning English 
<laughs> it was like, it would like say words and phrases. I like to <laughs> go walking. It's not what it said. I can't remember what it said. And then she would repeat it. <laughs> Her own little Duolingo to learn English. And I thought that was so cute. And she's just going around just like me, learning English. So cute. So cute. And she's probably in her 70s. You know, we can do hard things even in our 70s. Okay, I'm gonna finish my walk. Okay. <laughs> I tell you guys, today is the funnest day ever. I'm walking, I was literally right here. I was right here. And a lady kind of was coming up, came up behind me. She came from the parking lot came up behind me and I kind of I had my headphones on um so I couldn't tell if she had said something to me like called my you know called out to me or whatever and so I kind of just turned back to her and I was like I'm sorry did you say something and and she's like I didn't but what are you wearing and so then we started talking about the weighted vest and then and she was like I'm really curious because she had like hand weights that she was literally physically carrying and she's like these are annoying to carry I'm like then get wrist weights and what are wrist weights and and then she was like, well, what does this do? And I was like, it helps burn calories, which loses pounds. I've lost a lot of weight doing my walks. And she's like, well, how much do you walk to lose, lose that much weight? And I was like, well, six miles a day. <laughs> well, that's what's making you lose weight. <laughs> I was like, I know. It's a combination of everything. So we were just walking. We're talking. And um, she wanted to try the weight, the vest on. And so I put that on her. And she's like, oh, it doesn't feel bad at all. So she wants to order one. I told her to look it up on Amazon. And anyway, cute little oriental lady. So then she was talking about like um, taking care of her grandkids and, and, and making them yummy Chinese food and trying to convince me to make Chinese food and telling me how to make miso soup. And, and we're just walking. We're just walking and talking. And, um, and then she was like, let's go up there. Let's go up by the fields. Let's go up there. I can't do downhill. It hurts my knees. <laughs> She's like, I can't do stairs either. I can't do stairs. Let's go up the little, anyway. She's like, do you mind talking and, and, and walking with me? And I was like, no, I don't mind at all. I think it's wonderful. And so we talked, we talked about our grandkids. We talked about me being a mom and how old my kids are. And she was talking about, you know, Chinese food and what I could make. And, and she mentioned something, I forget what, what it was. And I said, oh, my love, husband would love that. He loves Chinese food, Japanese food. He lived in Japan for a couple years. That led to like talking about how we went to Japan and how then we went to Hawaii. And she was like, oh, I love Hawaii. I've only done cruises. And then we talked about Hawaii for a little while. And uh, hi. And we just went round and around. We went up here and we went and did the, the loop and we came back down around. She's like, let's go again. Let's go again. So then we came back up here and uh, went around again and we were just talking, talking, talking. And, um, Anyway, got done. Her name is Linda. And I told her what my name was. And she's like, okay, you'll be here tomorrow? And I was like, I'll be here tomorrow. I'm here every day. And um, she's like, okay. She, anyway, it was a wonderful conversation. I loved it. It was so fun to like, I don't know, whether, I don't know. It was just fun. So, um, I don't know. It just feels so good to like, be here it's healthy it's meeting new people um, this is a very cultural area that I live in and it's really fun just got done with my walk and went to UPS and now we're just waiting for all the <laughs> birds to cross the road oh, oh, oh no 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 you can you oh that one's a little busy oh come on people on their side need to like give them a chance to cross come on I kind of like pull over in between both lanes so that the other lane would see. I was kind of the first one upon them. I don't want to scare them, so I'm actually going to just stay here until they get up. Oh, I don't know. They don't know where to go. This guy's kind of being a jerk. He's like forcing him. He's like honking at him and like forcing him to like make a decision. They're just birds. We're in their territory. He's being a little schmuck. I hope they can cross the other side. Okay, I have gone home and I have showered and well, it's been a long time. Um, 
because I, once I showered him, Jason and I agreed to go and grab a bite to eat together. Um, we're gonna share a meal. Um, my aunt texted me and she, I could just tell she was needing to talk. And so I've been talking to her for the past hour. <laughs> so I feel bad, Jason's very hungry. So we're gonna hurry and get something to eat really quick and, um, and then I'll keep going. I don't know what else. I gotta go home and edit, what I gotta do. He's not feeling so great. I have had this His nose is like, like allergies. I'm on every allergy med I can. So I don't know. I'm so. Oh, I'm so sore. I have been editing for hours. For hours. Here's my little. I need to go get some dinner. I think Abby made us. Some, what do you call it, Muddy Buddies? She took my card and went to the store. Where's my little, I need my little, can you even see me? I need this little thingy, a little loopy. Um, oh, I haven't done that in a long time, like sitting here doing my editing. I haven't done that like that much in a long time. I didn't tell you this earlier because we had to kind of rush out the door. And so I was talking to my aunt. Turn off this. Let me turn on a light. Um, oh, you're right there. Yeah. How are you feeling? Still he's, kind he's, of junky. I just feel like wiped out by yeah, he's, constant head. <coughs> he's probably got a cold. But before I got home from my walk, he did some carpet cleaning through here. It was getting pretty bad. So anyway, since we got home from, um, I guess sure, lunch. This will help me feel better. <laughs> Muddy Buddies. Oh, that's a good batch. Look at that. Mmm. 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 But I'm trying to figure out what to do for dinner really quick. So I'm gonna do some of these. If you haven't seen these at, at Costco. These are the dupe for the bar chicken nuggets and they're a dollar cheaper and you get an extra pound. So it's a pretty good deal and they taste just like the bar chicken nuggets. Um, chicken tenders, chicken breast chunks, <laughs> whatever you want to call them. And then I have corn on the cob that I made yesterday. I'll have that again tonight. So we've got a protein, even though it's not the best kind of protein. I'm just trying to find something that we've got easy. And I've got a veggie. And what is this? I don't know what that is. Oh, maybe it's Ashley's pudding. Um, I need to get her home. I think she's out with a friend. Jace was Ashley upstairs, you know. Um, he's in the other room. Uh, she's been playing with her friends all day, but she has quite a few things to do. She needs to um, load her dishes, which is not very many. I really should help load the bowls because Abby made kind of a mess with those. But um, she also has laundry bucket to put away and she's prone to just setting it on her bed and then just dumping it out as she needs to use it. She also needs, I won't have her do her desk tonight because I don't want to do that tonight, but she also needs, there's one other thing, I can't remember what it was. I think it was probably her desk. Her desk in my office is atrocious. But anyway, probably get him feeling better. Take it easy tonight. Um, but if she does start to clean up things, I will let you know. Okay, it's only 8.30, but everyone, <laughs> oops. Okay, take my earphones out. They keep wanting to start playing. The things that I was uh, listening to before. But it's 8.30, everyone has gone to bed. So I'm hoping, okay, my, my, <laughs> my phone just wants to keep playing. Um, I cleaned the kitchen. I loaded for Ashley. I don't, I mean, I think she's asleep. So she said she didn't see her, but I think she fell asleep in her bed. I haven't gone up there in a couple hours, so I don't know for sure. So I went ahead and loaded for Ashley and then I wiped all of my counters down. That is now my job. But I prefer it because 
um, then I can do a really good job. I can uh, wash the stove top whenever I want to. I've got the plates in the dishwasher. But I think it's safe to say I can officially start the dishwasher. I've kind of done the things that like I usually have to do first thing in the morning. Make sure the dishes are started and loaded and Chelsea can unload. I hate these chairs not being thrown away. Not sure why the bug zapper is back here on the table. But it is. So I have straightened up everywhere. There's no laundry to fold or put away or put in or start or anything like that. Um, Jason is not doing good. I don't know how he's going to go to work tomorrow, given how he feels. And on our, also our one of our staff members might not make it in tomorrow because she was having issues today. So I don't know what he's going to do. He's in bed, has been for quite a while. I think Ashley had to do her first PE day. I can't show you the uniform because it has a school name. But I have three of these uniforms now. <laughs> Did she really just bring this home? She better not have brought that home. She threatened me. She was like, I'm going to bring my PE uniform home every day. Sorry, but the broom fell. Blocking the door from opening. <laughs> okay, there we go. She's like, I'm going to bring my PE uniform home every day. And you're going to wash it for me every single day. Because I'm not going to have a sweaty shirt every single day, P.E. And I was like, honey, you got three uniforms to choose from. Yes, two of them might be too big for you. But if that's what you'd like to do, you can rotate through those three uniform pieces. And you will you might get lucky that on one of those three days, I might wash the one that you've worn. And you might get another one for the fourth and the fifth day. But you might not, so take that risk. <laughs> I'm gonna stand and enjoy a few Muddy Buddies and my water and watch whatever show I have saved on TV. I don't know what, what it will be. Below Deck, maybe. Bachelorette is over. I really need a makeup wipe, but I think there's no more down here. All right. I started our day all over again at the park. I love this routine of mine. I love that I'm just making friendships with strangers at the park. I just think it's quite fun and it's really helping me and I'm glad it's helping you guys. You have messaged me that it's super motivating for you and I am super glad because I, like I was talking to my aunt today and just talking about different life situations and motivators and things that like help us on our health journeys because she's on one as well. Um, this is my mom's sister. And um, she's like, you have to find, she's like, you can have someone tell you what to do workout wise or health wise or nutrition wise, all you want. You can have that be your best friend or your husband or any, you know, any. But until you want it, you're not gonna do it. So find your why, find your motivation, find your reason to get out there and doing it in your own way and do it your own way. Do it your own way. My aunt was like, I could not walk as much as you walk because she has bad knees and she's trying to have knee surgery. She's like, but I can swim. So that's what I do. So find your thing. I hope this continues to help you guys because I had to wait until I found my thing. I had to wait to find my motivator. And I haven't actually talked about that moment of, for myself. It was a very specific moment. And I actually recorded it. And I'll be sharing it in a while. I haven't felt comfortable sharing it quite yet for a lot of reasons. But I, I literally found my moment. And that's what triggered me. Maybe some of you have wondered, wow, where did this start from where did this go, come from where how does she go from walking once a week to walking seven six to seven days a week and it was one moment and that was my motivator that was my 
Oh, Ashley's friends are, maybe that'll wake her up. Her friends are starting to message her. <laughs> um, so you have to find your own, and if I can help you with that, I, I will. You gotta do it for yourself. So good luck out there, and we will see you guys next time.